Here is the de Broglie relation. Here is the index. I am going to talk about the de Broglie relation and the significance of de Broglie waves. So, de Broglie. In 1924, Louis de Broglie, a French physicist, proposed a hypothesis to explain the theory of atomic structure. Louis de Broglie speculated that the nature did not single out light as being the only matter which exists a wave particle duality. So it's having a wave particle duality. So this is the atomic structure. It got a nucleus which is having protons and neutrons. It's like the solar space. This is atom and this is your solar space. So here is some of the explanation and graphical methods to prove the de Broglie relation, a particle and a wave nature. The wavelength of the wave associated with any particle and its material particle was calculated by analogy with the photon as follows. That's called wavelength analogy. In case of a photon, it is assumed to have a wave character and its energy is E is equal to H into nu. So according to the Planck's quantum theory, nu is the frequency of the wave and H is the Planck's constant. If the photon is supposed to have particles, its energy is given by E equal to mc square. Over here, which is nothing but your Einstein's equation, you are able to see the material particle. But m is the mass of the photon and c is the velocity of light. As you know, we got two equations. From equation 1 and 2, we got h nu is equal to mc square when nu is equal to c by lambda so h into replacing your nu with the c by lambda you got h into c divided by lambda is equal to mc square where lambda is equal to h by mc so de probably pointed out that the above equation is applicable to any material particle The mass of the photon is replaced by the mass of the material particle and the velocity c of the photon is replaced by the velocity v of the material particle. This is the mass of the photon and a picture representing the velocity of photon. Let's move on to the de Broglie relation further. Thus for any material particle like electrons we got lambda. The de Broglie wavelength is equal to h by mv. The lambda is equal to h by p. The reason is mv is equal to p which is the momentum of particle. This above equation is called as a de Broglie equation and lambda is called as de Broglie wavelength. Thus the significance of de Broglie equation lies in the fact that it relates the particle character with the wave character of matter. Louis de Broglie, the concept of dual nature of matter finds application in the construction of electron microscope and in the study of surface structure of solids by electron diffraction. You can see the electron diffraction is happening. You can see the diffraction is happening. So this is your de Broglie wavelength where lambda is equal to h by mv. The diffraction of electrons and x-ray is similar. 
the de broglie concept can be applied not only to electrons but also to other small particles like neutrons protons atoms and molecules so proton and neutron will form the nucleus and you are able to see the electron here is a three dimensional view of how the atom is formed this is called orbital